Hi everybody, this is Alchemist 2 and I'm back again with another movie review. <clears throat> Recently, I had decided to watch The Spiderwet Chronicles and I had seen this before in the cinema a long time ago and I savored it there. I just absolutely adored it every single solitary minute of it because from the moment it begins to the moment it ends, you're completely mesmerized by it. I was just transfixed. It is a well put together, well thought out, very um, magical story. It's just enthralling and has a lot of action and adventure scenes <clears throat> involved in it. And the special effects are really quite impressive, I thought. <coughs> And Freddie Highmore, whom I love, he plays the role of twins, which I haven't seen him do since this particular film. And I think it takes a really special actor to do this. And he hasn't really been in any other movies except for the uh, Arthur trilogy, which also, as you well know, I am a huge fan of and I, ad <laughs> I adore. But this story is just full of morals and values and really fantastic fight scenes and uh, one of my favorite um, moments in the film is with uh, Byron, the, the griffin, and it just it takes my breath away every single solitary time I see it. And of course there are a couple of scenes with Aunt Lucinda that always make me overclamped, but <laughs> it's very hard heartfelt and touching but I feel that the the film itself is very accurate to the book series and I would love for for them to make a, a movie of the second one because I would like to see what Nixie's and Fuka's look like but um, I'm not really sure if they'll do that or not uh, I don't know if this particular movie did that well because Harry Potter was out and it was in the same vein of Harry Potter and Harry probably took precedence at the box office because this was in 08 and uh, I'm not sure which uh, Harry Potter film was out at this particular time but I think it just overshadowed it completely and this is a, this is a movie that's really highly over overlooked and it, it should be given a closer <clears throat> scrutinization because it in my opinion it's a really solid fantasy film unlike a lot of other fantasy films that have been made and it's got a lot of humor in it that I really enjoy and <laughs> I love my favorite line in the entire film is steel cuts and burns and the mother said good thing we're New Yorkers and I don't know why but every single time it just cracks me up to no end it's the best line in the film <laughs> and it also shows the, the humor of the movie as well and it just uh, shows a, a mother's love and the, the togetherness of a family although dysfunctional it may be it acts as a unit and each member supports the other and it just it always touches me and and makes me glad that I'm part of a, a family just like that so for spider whip chronicles I would I would give give it five five stars no questions asked and two thumbs way up just because everything about it is perfect there are no I have no qualms about it and I didn't know that Martin Short, one of my favorite comedians, uh, was a voice in it. And of course he really hasn't had any huge roles in anything except in Hoodwink 2 and <laughs> crap, but uh, <laughs> I just, I prefer him in this one as um, Dimbletack because I, I think that he was absolutely perfect for the role. He, they couldn't have found a better actor to play Dimbletack because he was just he fit the the role to a, a T. He was tremendous. And of course, um, I was just thinking about uh, who was uh, 
yeah, Seth Rogen. Seth Rogen played the role of Hog Squeal, the Hobgoblin, and I love Hog Squeal. He's just absolutely amazing and <laughs> and very easily distracted. <laughs> I think he has ADHD, but it's just so cute and he's very amusing to me and I, I love his character just because he adds necessary comic relief to the film and it's just a very well thought of film and just splendidly done and whoever was responsible for um, filming it they, they did a a really bang up job they, they, they truly did and it was just absolutely fabulous I loved it and I highly recommend it for anybody who's a, a fan of Freddie Highmore because he really shines in this he's a he's a consummate kid actor and the other characters as well the the man who played Arthur Spiderwick and uh, the lady who played um, Aunt Lucinda were both really a-list actors and actresses and it just uh, I think is one of the best fantasy films other than uh, Lord of the Rings, Chronicles of Narnia, and um, Harry Potter that have been done thus far and I don't think you can get much better than that. So I will be reviewing another fantasy epic in um, probably tomorrow and it's the latest version of Peter Pan. So. Be on the lookout until then. Ciao!